Hey everybody, it's Missy again. Thanks for joining me today. I'm super excited to be the guest designer this month at Spiegel Mom Scraps. And if you're shopping there this month, I have a discount code. It's Missy15 and you can get 15% off of your order. So I was sent a bunch of these beautiful sequins and I right away noticed this pack. It's called Aquarius and I thought the blues were just so beautiful. And so I remembered this paper that I had from the Altenew Reflections scrapbooking kit. And look at these pictures. These are from 2011. That's Paige. If you watch my videos, I'm sure you've seen plenty of pictures of my kids. Uh, she's eight and a half now, and so she was almost two in these pictures. And the reason I'm scrapping an older picture is because the theme this month at Spiegel Mom Scraps is winter. And living in Florida, we don't really have a lot of... <laughs> winter opportunities for photos. I mean, sometimes it gets cold, but you know, we don't have snow. Uh, it's just, it's not the same as northern states um, winters. So my thought process behind this is the pictures were taken in January, and so technically it was a winter month, and the color scheme in this paper reminds me of winter. It's this really pretty blue with some gray, and these flowers just reminded me of wintertime flowers. And so I'm gonna sort of create this winter color scheme with uh, my mixed media paints and these papers. Well, this paper that I fussy cut the flowers from. So what I'm gonna do is I pulled out some shimmers from my stash and I'm going to start with a gray color, and this is different for me. It's definitely a different color scheme, but like I said, I was inspired by that pack of sequins because there are some blues and some grays in it, and so it's all going to wind up coming together. This is a shimmers called Thunderstorm, and I believe it's a, it's a creamies, and it's a very pretty shimmery silver gray color. The blue is called Me in Blue, and it's an Inklings, and it is a gorgeous shimmery blue color. You're going to be able to see the shimmer here in a few minutes once I'm done, and it's dry. I'm going to show you up close, and you'll be able to see how beautiful it is. So I'm trying to match the blues and the grays in those flowers that I fussy cut. And so I'm using the plastic packaging technique. I'm using my brush. I'm using splattering techniques. I just want to create this watercolor splotchy background and so that's what I'm doing here. You really, you know, there's no rhyme or reason to this. You um, can't mess it up. Uh, I always, my advice would be just to start small and then kind of put your, your items back on your page like I'm doing here and see how it looks and if you feel like you need more, then go back and add more. I think that's what... Um, a mistake that people make right off the bat when when they say oh I tried this technique and it was a hot mess I threw it away I think it's because people may do too much so sometimes less is more but uh, in in this case I would say start with less and then kind of pull all of your your pictures and your papers back on top of it and see how it looks and then you'll know if you need more now here you can see it's dry look how shimmery that is it's so pretty I love it I love it so that's exactly what I'm going to do here. I'm going to put everything back like I want it and see how it looks. And I like that, but I feel like a lot of it's covered up. So what am I going to do? I'm just going to add some more. And it, you know, it winds up looking like a lot, but once you put everything back on top of it, it sort of changes. And I'm going to come back to the sequins later. Um, I like to create my backgrounds first and kind of get all my papers and embellishments in place and then uh, go from there. And so usually, you know, I use lots of different colors on my layouts, but I limited myself to just the blues and the grays because I felt like it just, it looked like winter time and it just felt like a cold layout, I guess you could say. And she was swinging in a swing and it, she did have on jeans and a long sleeve shirt, you know, here in Florida, you know, we don't really have snowsuits or, you know, snow hats or things like that. It was kind of a chilly day, but it technically was winter time, but it felt nice outside. So I really like how these flowers look this way. On the original pattern paper, they were growing up from the bottom, like they were growing up out of the ground, but I love how they look this way. I just kind of turned them so they look kind of like they're coming in toward the picture, and then I just wanted to tuck it in there, and so it kind of overlaps the picture. 
and um, I printed the picture in black and white just for um, so it would match a little bit better because her shirt was like a, a magenta or a hot pink color and so I um, just decided to print it in black and white and it makes it stand out a lot more and I think it goes with this color scheme a lot more so I tried to go with a silver thread here. You know, I like to use my tangled thread, but it just would not loop right. Uh, it just wanted to go in all these weird shapes. And so I decided against that. And I just pulled out two gray colors, a light gray and a darker gray. And that's more of the, uh, the cotton thread and it bl uh, loops up and tangles perfectly. So I added some darker to the left and some lighter to the right. And then I'm going to add a little bit of blue at the bottom underneath those black and white sketchy flowers. And this just adds pops of color. It adds texture. And, you know, the tangled effect just adds to the messiness, the, uh, the artsy effect of the background. And I like how this is looking, you know, because the basic design of the layout is finished. Um, it's just a matter of embellishing now. The background is pretty much finished. Um, I did add a little butterfly that I fussy cut up there at the top. And now this roll of Dear Lizzie washi tape has been sitting on my desk ever since I got it in a hip kit several months ago. And I love to fussy cut these little flowers out because when you stick them on your paper, it looks like you drew them. They look very sketchy and um, just like you took a black pen and just kind of made some messy flowers. And I thought that these would, would look uh, like really nice, what's the word I'm looking for here? Just background elements. Um, you know, the photo's black and white, and so these are just a little more hint of black and white elements here and there. And so I just fussy cut some of those out and you don't even have to be very, uh, you know, technical with it because it kind of blends in with the white. And so if the edges aren't perfect, it doesn't matter. So I also went stash busting for my title. And as you can see, I've had these stickers forever. They're from Amy Tangerine and they're so old, they're not even sticking to the background or the the backing paper. They keep falling off. Do you have thickers that do this? I have so many thickers from over the years and when you pull the bag out, <laughs> you know, sticking to my finger, um, when you pull the bag out, they all fall down to the bottom. So that's what's happening here. But I made them work and I wound up adding some glue to them. And so my title's going to be Winter Cutie. These are some Dear Lizzie thickers from way back in the day. And uh, they're white with kind of a clear glitter. And I thought that they would go really well and kind of mixing and matching because the uh, winter font are kind of blocky and then cutie is kind of more of a, a scripty loopy type of font and i like how the title kind of um it's light and i like how it overlaps it's not too dark i didn't want to go with blue because I felt like I had enough blue going on. But I did decide that something needed to go down in that area, so I fussy cut another butterfly for that area there. And I thought it was just the perfect touch. And I'm gonna leave a lot of the white space above and below, just like it is here. It kind of reminds me of snow, even though I have no business creating a snow layout, because like I said, <laughs> we don't have that here. Now I did go through the rest of the sequence that I received and I picked out another set to use and that's called Peachy Kini. I'm not going to use the peachy colored ones, but there are some really pretty, um, kind of like a translucent or a transparent gray so you can see through them, but there's and some different shades of gray ones in the Aquarius set. So I'm going to kind of mix and match here and I'm just going to basically create some confetti all over the page with these sequins. I'm going to create some little clusters and then kind of sprinkle them around. I'm going to use some gray ones, light gray and dark gray, as well as some blue colored ones. And I've got that all done. You can see how cute they look. They're very, they just add some, some texture, dimension, some sparkle, some shine to your page. And there are so many things that you could do with them. In this case, I'm going to use them as just little sprinklings around the page. One of the last things I'm going to do is draw some lines for my journaling. And I believe this page is almost finished. This is actually a pretty simple page for me. Uh, once I fussy cut out those flowers, it just sort of came together and I felt like it really didn't need a whole lot more. I love how the background turned out and all those sequins just really added the perfect touch. But there's the final layout. It does look wintry, I think. Um, so yeah, 
let me know if you guys have any questions about any of the techniques or any of the uh, sequins that I use. If you visit Spiegel Mom Scraps, remember to use Missy15 to get 15% off. She also carries a lot of Shimmers products, so make sure you check that out, as well as some other things. There's a lot of fun scrapbooky, crafty type things in there. So I hope you guys have a great week. I'll be back next Tuesday with another video for Spiegel Mom Scraps. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.